Enigma syndrome is a neurological disorder that affects the balance and cognition of leopard geckos. Around 2006, it became apparent that certain leopard geckos were displaying strange behaviours, such as appearing to be quite disorientated. Most, but not all, of the geckos were associated with Enigma morph, hence the name Enigma syndrome. Individuals who have the syndrome display various strange behaviours. The severity of the syndrome varies depending on two things, environmental factors and the gecko's individual genotype. From gathering information from a range of breeders, it is recommended that geckos with the syndrome are housed alone, since stress usually brings on the symptoms and a dominant tank mate may increase the likelihood of stress. Still, you may actually find that a tank mate actually makes your gecko feel more comfortable and calm. So it really varies depending on each individual, but if you buy one with the syndrome, please be mindful of your gecko's environment. Other environmental factors that increase the occurrence of unusual behaviour include loud or sudden sounds, rough handling, not providing enough hides or actually providing too many things and being exposed to bright lights. Some of the strange behaviours that can occur include stargazing, walking in circles, laying in strange places, missing prey when it's right in front of them, death rolling and head tilting. So how does this syndrome occur? Well I'm going to keep things brief since delving into leopard geckos genetics would make for a very long video. So leopard geckos have 19 pairs of chromosomes. Each gecko has two copies of each gene known as alleles. Just one copy of the dominant gene is enough to manifest symptoms. Enigma syndrome is inherited in an autosomal dominant pattern. Those affected are either heterozygous or homozygous dominant. In other words, allele A causes a disorder. So those who are AA or A with a little a are affected. Homozygous recessive animals with two little small a's are 100% normal as they do not carry the mutant allele and cannot pass it on to their offspring. The majority of leopard geckos that are affected are heterozygous A with a little a, since in many cases the homozygous dominant genotype AA, the two big A's, is lethal and usually results in a miscarriage of an embryo. Since the syndrome is inherited, at least one of the gecko's parents will have the syndrome, so remember to ask lots of questions when you're choosing a gecko. Chances are most pet shops won't have a clue what you're talking about, so buy from a respected breeder and they should have all the answers for you. The syndrome doesn't affect one particular gender since leopard geckos don't have sex chromosomes. So why did this all occur? It's not known exactly what made it occur, but the Enigma morph is dominant and very popular among breeders because of the visually interesting and usually quite colourful offspring. Since it was so popular, everyone started to breed the morph and it's thought to be mixed with almost all other morphs. So to pinpoint the moment that it started to produce offspring with Enigma syndrome is pretty hard to do. Now, if you're sat at home thinking, oh my God, I think my gecko has this. Well, first things first, it's, it's not deadly, okay? It's totally fine. It's just a syndrome which can somewhat be controlled. Many people compare it to autism in humans. The way you've got to look at it is you have a gecko with one hell of a quirky personality and with all the people I've spoken to who have geckos with it, they would not change a little thing with their geckos at all. The best tip is to try to reduce your leopard gecko being exposed to stressful situations as much as possible. Mike from the channel Fun With Life, who provided me with some of the information and all of the footage, says that when his gecko is calm, the behaviours completely disappear. I'm sure I'm going to get a fair few messages asking me to look at a photo of a gecko and say if it's an enigma and whether it has a syndrome. In all honesty, I am a little hopeless at spotting morphs at all. So I would encourage you to do a lot more research. I'll put links in the description below because there's actually a surprising amount of information out there. Thank you very much to Mike from Fun With Life for giving me the idea for the video and providing me with some awesome footage and information. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Leopard Gecko Talk on Enigma Syndrome.